Okay, so we've done Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. Now I'm about to do Taurus. So now this is a Taurus reading. So this is what Spirit wanted. This is <laughs> I'm so tired of repeating this. Okay, so what, what Spirit calling for me to do is have everybody understand where they're going and where they're heading to with their eagles, with their sun signs. As we are heading, we're leaving the seventh month of the divine alignment, and we're at the peak energy of the divine alignment, and we're about to start entering into our divine abundance um, year. And so spirit is calling for what Tauruses need to do and what is your role into ushering and changing things of what's, of what's to come. So with Tauruses, you guys are very stable. You're very fixed. You don't, you're the ones who are going to be the most resistant to the change. You're going to be the ones who we're going to go and we're going to listen to all of your complaints, even though you don't want to change it, you want to listen to all of your complaints, and then we're going to have you do the administrative stuff. You are in charge of administrative things. So getting your family documents together. Who, you know, if you have a large family, making sure everybody has their birth certificates, making sure everybody has their IDs, making sure they have, if you have vaccination records or whatever, whatever, have those too. Making sure that people have, and you have it organized in a file cabinet, making sure that you, your family has a, 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 you know, a certain amount of supplies for things to come and to change if it needs to be, right? Making sure that your family is okay administratively. Then you're going to get into the systems, into the documents. So what Aries pulls up, you're going to be the one to be like, all right, these laws need to be over here. These other laws need to be over there. Um, organizing it, putting labels on it, color coordinating it. Um, all of the, the information, all of the, the research and stuff that the other signs are going to do, you're going to be the keeper of those things. So if I mention, if I mention a movie or I mention a song or something like that, you're the ones who wrote the notes for it and you're going to keep it so that when we need to go back and look at our notes and compare, you got that already handled. You are the stability. You are the foundation. You're the one who is going to look up the camping grounds. You're going to be the one who looks up off-grid living. What are the things we can get away with and what not? You're going to look for the loopholes and things and stuff like that. So you're that's what you like to do the rest of us don't like to do that and that's why we're going to get to Tauruses right um so Taurus what is spirit calling for your archetype to be Ooh, the desert see you're doing the things that nobody wants to do but you have your hand up ready Pilgrim. And the vow. Oh. You're going to make sure we keep the vow to ourselves. What we what we say we believe in and things like that. But I, you're going to be the one who writes up our new belief systems. So we need to write up new laws. Tauruses are going to be the ones who write it up and keep it stored and saved and make sure it is organized, right? If we're going on the pilgrim, the pilgrimage and we're moving, you're the one who's making sure we know the next destination. You're going to know, you know, all of the things. So it could even be in your personal life. If you want to go on a trip, you make it sure, you, know, you want it to be a family thing or even just yourself. You're going to make sure you have everything. You're going to have a checklist for what to pack. You're going to have a checklist for what you're bringing in your carry on. You're going to have it packed and shit and ready. You're going to have a checklist and everything planned. All of the intimate details, the tedious details, you're the one who's going to be organizing those things. You're going, if it's going to be a protest, you're going to make sure that everybody is up to code and up to speed and everything. The laws is not being broken. You want to make sure we have a loophole for where we can stand, where we cannot, what the police can do, what the police cannot do. You're the one who's going to make sure that every, if we agree no violence, then everybody needs to get the medallion card out. Because Spirit said, that hard work is going to be rewarded very well. 
me see if there's anything else before I stop. So you're going to be doing the things that nobody wants to do. You're going to be doing and handling the situations and doing the tedious things that nobody wants to handle and wants to have organized. Um, and because of that, you're going to be greatly, greatly rewarded because that's the thing. Taurus is not going to do something that they're not going to be rewarded. So you might be rewarded a first class flight because you handled everybody's flight arrangements, right? You're going to do things efficiently. You're not going to allow any of the other zodiac signs to procrastinate. We, the rest of us, are procrastinators. We get, we got good work, but we procrastinators. You're going to be the one. You're the mother. You're the one who is taking charge. So the Aquarius is the ones who, who are the, who got the father card. They're going to be the ones that's like, okay, no to this, no to that. Very, very stern. You're going to be very understanding and compassionate, but you're going to make sure that all the kids are placed in order. The father is not thinking of those things when it comes to packing, right? It's the mother. She's going to make sure that the nest is great. You're going to make sure that the zodiacs are fine. And because of that, and that vow, and being dedicated to that, spirit is going to hook you up, okay? Um, but it's going to feel alone. You're going to be irritated because you're like, why am I the one who got to do all of this? Um, but spirit says, hold on, because you are a fighter. You're a warrior. You're going to get through it. And you know that nobody is going to come because you're going to have the receipt so if it's like a protest and you need to be the one to organize all of the things you're going to be there with the receipts and showing like hey no we have this ordinance we have this and that and the third for that um and the pilgrim you're going to be the one who initiates the pilgrim initiate the movement when we have to start moving around you're the one who got everything in order you are the leader of the movement the pilgrim and then i'm gonna be done and i'll finish the other ones later let me see if i find it first i just want to be battery almost dead and everything okay so the wanderer the traveler and the apprentice so for the pilgrim an outward journey is always an inward journey the archetypal wanderer seeks wisdom experience and meaning in the farthest reaches of the globe and the deepest region of the spirit others will wonder when the pilgrim will settle down and claim a more conventional life but the pilgrim knows that the heart belongs in motion where there is motion, there is freedom, expansion, and growth. Responsibilities, social conventions, and logistics lull us to sleep, and soon the pilgrim becomes veiled in the slumber of the day-to-day. -day. Yet when this archetype awakens, it rallies our sense of adventure and leads us out the door toward a new reality. When the pilgrim at your side, you will never lack courage, do, nor do you need every amenity. Travel light, travel soon, your spirit needs it. So you will be the one, like I said, will be preparing everybody for the travel. You will be helping the people practice and things like that and determining what is good for them and what is not. And that is also for what it is in your personal life as well. Um, what you need to, um, you know, do the things. You have outrageous openness, which is, dear love, open me to your will, release me from my attachments, surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed, and I am open to receive. And then sanctity. So you're going to be outrageously open with what to do and what not to do. 
and then through offering even the most mundane problem can be a sacrament so you're the one who's doing the most mundane things but that is the most sacrament and that is the most um thing that spirit will want for you to do okay all right you guys have a great one